everyone. It's great to see you. I'm back by the shed and the window boxes that you know I think have just done so well this season. I'm just so proud of myself for finding a combination that has lasted pretty well in the shade here. And you know, it's coming into fall, but these double in patience, the Rocapulcos are just doing great. The Broalia keeps blooming. The nice thing with these two flowers are they just seem to be continually in bloom. So I know that with my petunias, a lot of times they tend to have a wave that comes through and then we have a little downtime, then we get another wave of petunias. But this is so nice just to walk by and always see that color. And the lemon cypress trees, they just have gotten so big. I was actually looking back at the video where I planted them and they were tiny little things and I'm so proud of them. Now, this time of year, as you walk through your garden, you do start to notice, if you're like me, that things got a little out of control in some places, which is totally fine. And then some things didn't do as well as I expected them to. And surprisingly, although this window box did fabulous, I lost one of the lemon cypress trees in the other window box. Let me show you. So here's the other window box. And once again, flowering beautifully. These two lemon cypress looks great. And then this is the saddest lemon cypress ever. So I noticed a number of weeks ago that it started to have some browning on the branches, but you know, most of them have a little browning here. And I, I checked, it's getting the same amount of water as everything else. And it just got more and more brown. And finally I can say it is not coming back. So I did what every good gardener does. I found a replacement and I am going to quickly switch it out so that nobody knows that this plant died. So here is my replacement and I think this is actually going to be a pretty good size here. Now I'm a tad worried because I do see a little browning here, which is really how this one started. But you know, this time of year, there's not a lot of selection in the nurseries. This is the best that I could find and it is certainly a lot better than this lemon cypress tree. So we're just going to pluck this one out. Okay, oh yeah, take a look at that. Not um, meant to go on in my window boxes. And we'll take this one out. So remember the lemon cypress is a perennial to zone seven. And being 6B here, I can't really count on it to live through the winter, but I am certainly going to try. Look at that, it's like the perfect height. Oh, I really lucked out because I like these so much. And then to tell you the truth, even if it doesn't survive the winter, I might just replace them for next year. Now this one is a little bit more lemony color than the other. It doesn't get a lot of sun here. And I do believe that they get a more of a yellow lemony color the more sun they have, but it still is more on the lemon side than my dark green with the impatience here. So it just provides this great backdrop. And I'll keep you posted on whether they die or not when we get the cold weather, but you never know. And you know what? Nobody ever has to know that that middle one didn't make it. So don't tell anybody. They look beautiful. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.